The bucket elevator, often referred to as a leg, is the preferred method of vertical conveying of ingredients and finished feeds. The boot or tail section of the bucket elevator is where product enters the elevator. Product can be introduced into the boot section on the upside of the bucket elevator, which drops the material into the buckets and is lifted to the top of the bucket elevator. The other option is to introduce the material on the downside of the leg as the empty buckets are circling around the drum on the bottom. Depending on the design of the boot, there is a potential for cross-contamination and buildup of product, which is why they should be inspected regularly, especially if the bucket elevator is on the outside of the feed mill. The boot of the bucket elevator may be located in tunnels or boot pits below the ground level and may be considered a confined space at some locations. Investigators should avoid climbing down ladders into boot pits. The bucket elevator has a rotating belt with cups that lift the material from the inlet to the top of the bucket elevator, or the head, and then discharge the material. The drive and motor are normally located on the top of the bucket elevator. Most bucket elevators have one drive motor, but some of the large bucket elevators have a dual drive system. Capacity of the bucket elevator is determined by bucket size, bucket spacing, and elevator belt speed. These parameters can be changed depending on the type of product that is handled. Bucket elevator capacity is rated differently depending on the location in the feed mill. Outside grain receiving systems are typically rated on bushels per hour, whereas in the feed mill, the bucket elevators will be rated on cubic feed per hour or tons per hour.